going to a body condition school camera was a was a big step for us. The cows go through it twice a day for every milking and it takes a thermal image over the cow. Then that gets analysed through the computer and sent to the main database once a day. Out of all of the technology we've got in the shed, the cost-benefit analysis, I believe, would be, be right up there. So the camera um, scores the cows down to um, 0.1, whereas um, normally when you're visually scoring it, um, people score it to 0.5. But the fact that it is done every day and consistently for every cow um, is a huge opportunity for farmers. Once we started analysing the results, that we found that our lower body condition score cows were actually our best cows. The bottom 20% body condition score of our cows were producing 20% better than the average of the herd. And contrary to that, the, the higher condition score cows were not producing the goods. So that was pretty exciting to us and made us realise that it's the low body condition score cows that we really needed to be looking after. We've target fed our, our low condition school cows, so by the time we got to dry off, those cows were um, up to 4.5 where we wanted to start wintering them. So that was a, a big result for us and we were really pleased with it. So manually there's a lot of variation between people's assessments of the cows. Variation just in what you see and what I see is different. Consistency is the advantage of the camera. The target is to be at condition score 5 at calving. That's how you get the fertility um, in your cows and give them every opportunity to get back into calf. Makes a difference to the fertility in your herd and you're looking after the cows that need to be looked after is, um, is pretty powerful.